Welcome back, Brick Detectors. Hope everyone had a glorious weekend. This video actually goes back to when the weekend was just beginning, back on Friday. And if that was a very long time for you because you had just the craziest weekend, let me fill you in. We had Lego Creator Set 31081 out, modular skate house. Didn't build the primary model, which I probably should have. Instead, I went and built this one, which is the skate park. And it definitely wasn't as good as I thought it was gonna be. So I ended Friday's video asking you guys through a poll, what should I build next? The model that I probably should have built or this awesome arcade, a big toss up because both of these are pretty good. And you guys by far chose the arcade. And I wanna show this to you, but I'm gonna grab my tripod so this video isn't so janky. All right guys, here it is, the arcade. Built this on Friday night on Brickatech Live. I'll pop a link to the video up top if you didn't get a chance to see that. That was a really fun stream. And I had an enjoyable time building this and it turned into a fantastic model, much better than the skate park from Friday. I'll take you around this thing on the inside. We'll do a little bit of a tour. First thing we're looking at here is the basketball game. I don't have any of the basketballs in there. I kind of picked up the little accessories and things because I didn't want them to get lost and I want to be able to share this with Clark, man. He's actually down for a nap right now. I want to share this with him when he gets up because he hasn't seen it yet. I want to leave it as a surprise for the video. Right above that, we've got a security camera because what arcade wouldn't be complete without a security camera with all these hooligans in here playing video games. Speaking of video games, as we come over to this side, we've got a little receptionist desk here, which really isn't much to speak of. And there's nothing on the computer screen. This person that's working in here is not doing anything. But anyway, the thing that you really wanna see is the arcade machines. And the first one you have here, I really love. You've got the joystick over here and just a single button, but I think they did a really good job with this. And again, I'm kind of glad they didn't go with the stickers, I suppose, but I wish they would went with maybe a black piece for this right here but I'm not gonna be nitpicky on that. Before I show you the next arcade machine, in between the two, we've got a little drink and food center here, which is definitely not a good idea to have near your video games, but we've got some pizza on there, maybe a Mountain Dew and a Coca-Cola, I'm gonna say. That's where I'm going with that. Then we go right beside that to probably my favorite part of this, and this is like the driving game. So you got the seat and that actually moves up and down if you want it to. There is a steering wheel in there that also moves and there is a printed piece in here. And you did hear that right, my friends. There is a printed piece in here and that actually shows the Rocket Rally car, I think, which is a set from 2018. And I thought that was a nice little touch and probably my favorite part of the arcade, honestly. There's a couple posts that come out. I'm assuming those are supposed to be lights and you can see a little bit of detail on the floor. We've got some lime green and some blue and then it kind of just goes off into studs, which I'm not too concerned about. Again, the outside's a little weak, but you're gonna be looking at this from this angle. And I think they did a good job with this. This is definitely better than the skate park, but I'm curious to see how it compares to the actual modular skate house. We're gonna have to put this one on the back burner for right now because I've got another set to build today. The set we're moving on to is Lego Star Wars set 75183 Darth Vader transformation. You're probably wondering right now, why the heck am I moving on from this thing without having finished the third model? Well, the reason is because it's Sunday right now. I know, crazy, right? Because you're watching this on Monday, but I said on Sundays I would be building in a live stream the sets that we got in mail time on Saturday. And this happened to be it. This was sent to us by Matthew Donovan. And I appreciate Matthew, if you're watching this video, I appreciate you sending this out to us. I'm gonna be building this up here today on a live stream, but I thought I could tie this into a video of the things I built over the weekend because I know a lot of people don't watch Brick Tech Live or some people can't make it to the streams. So this is kind of an opportunity to see what I built on Friday night and what I built on Sunday afternoon. And I think this format's gonna work out really well. You guys will have to let me know, but in the meantime, let's unbox this thing. We've got some war wounds on this box. This came from Amazon in the traditional Amazon fashion, which is to put everything in a padded envelope and just smash it to heck and back. But uh, this set is a total of 282 pieces. We've got Emperor Palpatine, we've got Darth Vader, we've got Anakin, we've got Darth Vader in his transformation chamber, if we're calling it that. And I think this is gonna be a really fun build. Let's unbox it and see what we got in here. I think we're gonna have a lot of grays, my friends. Someone was asking me last night, what Lego classic set should I buy that has a lot of grays? I said, buy a Star Wars set, because as you can see, We've got a lot of grays in here, and what do you know? We've got a folded manual. So not only do we have a bashed box, but we've got a folded manual. Thanks, Amazon. Thanks, Lego. Okay, we only have two bags here, or three if you count this one. Oh, wait a minute. Don't be stupid, Greg. Play on bag, bag one, because you're gonna get messed up here. <laughs> and that is everything that came out of bag one. Looks like we have ugly old Palpatine in here. And I'm assuming the other two minifigs are in bag two. So now I'm right where I should be today for the live stream. I'm gonna be building this thing up and I'll be right back with you guys with the final model and I'll let you know what I think of it. And hopefully Clarkman will be up by then and you can see him play with this and see what he thinks of all this stuff we built this weekend. Well, that was by far the craziest live stream I've ever been in. If you were in that one, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We've got a couple hundred dollars of donations. I don't know what was going on. People were going crazy and it was nuts. Don't go back and watch the stream though because I had technical difficulties. It shut down halfway through thanks to my internet. Had to start a second part of the stream. I got a little emotional multiple times. 
it was something. But in between all of that, I ended up building Darth Vader's transformation, which I was demonstrating on the stream, which is why it looks like this. Let me show you guys a little bit here. Uh, why don't I get the tripod again? Oh, and also here is my new streaming setup. I've got the microphone up here. We've got the alternate camera. We've got this camera. It's pretty cool. I'm happy about it. So here it is. I'll show you one of the first things that we built here. Built this little droid guy here. I said in the stream, this reminds me of I Build With Bricks, some of the stuff that he makes over there. This is what the thing turned into, just a giant circle. I like this thing of a jobber. I think this is a stormtrooper. And then the cool thing about this is, of course, the transformation. And I'm hoping that you can hear me okay. I'm a little off the side of the microphone. Coming a little closer here, you can see Anakin on this side. And on this side is Darth Vader without his helmet. His helmet's actually over here. And someone from the stream showed me how this all works. So basically, you roll that back, right? And you flip it over. So there's Darth Vader on this side. And now you bring this over. Come on, Gavna. There we go. And you put his helmet on like that. A little scrunch down. And then you come back over here and you bring him back up and there you have yourself Darth Vader. How crazy is that? You can kind of go around again and bring him back as Anakin and then you can go around again, bring him back as Darth Vader. And then you can take Darth Vader and bring him back as Emperor Palpatine. Ah! I didn't even realize this thing fell off. So that's the thing that's on the side there as well. And I guess we'll just put this guy right there. And we've got Palpatine, we've got some extra pieces left over. And what I'm going to do now is get our arcade set here and I'll put that there. And now we release the Clarkin because he's up from his nap and I think he's going to dig this stuff that I built this weekend. Oh, Clarkin. Yeah. I built a Lego set for you. Thank you, master. You're welcome, young apprentice. Whoa. Come check this out, dude. Whoa, what? Look at that. It's mine now. It's yours now? Yeah, it's yours. What? Dead. Do you know who that is? Yeah. What is this? It's, it's made of Dark Vader. Dark Vader? Yeah. Pretty cool. Or huh? is it the Everman? Um, watch this. See this guy right here? Yeah. You pull that out, and then you rotate that around, and he flips around and stuff. It's like. Ooh. Right here. It's from right there. Spin that. There it is, boy. Is that cool? Yeah, why turn to Dark Bear? Yeah, watch. Um, well, Sugar Shack. Let me get the tripod again. Me and this tripod are becoming really good friends in this video. You put his helmet up here in this thing. So he starts out as Anakin. That's Anakin, okay? He's not a stormtrooper. And then you lower him down and you flip it around. There's Darth Vader and you take his helmet like this and you smush that on top of his head, like that. And then he, he's Darth Vader. Can I take uh, him off? You can take him off. And you can put him in the other thing that I made, which is an arcade. Darth Vader's going for the high score. Look, he could play this game too. Uh-oh, Palpatine is coming into the arcade. He says, I can beat your high score, Darth Vader. Ding, 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 ding. He beat your high score. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Oopsie. Uh-oh, Oop. what happened? This thing broke. Oh, that thing falls off all the time. I was trying to get a focus on Palpatine here, but he's so ugly that I can't get the camera to focus on him very well. <gasps> no. Where's, where's... What happened to all the guys that are supposed to be on there? I don't know. I turned to him. Well, they're, that's kind of what happens. Darth Vader is the same guy under his helmet, pretty much. You see? Yeah. He, he's like the same. So you don't have to switch their heads. Their heads are the same. Okay? Uh, this guy... Hey, look, I like this thing. That's what I just said. Oh, and if you notice, Clark Man is wearing the same shirt as he did yesterday. Just know that we are uh, terrible parents and uh, we don't take care of him very well, which is why he's wearing the same clothes. Ain't that right, Clark? Yeah, it's, it is right. <laughs> what set do you like better? Do you like Darth Vader or do you like the arcade better? I like Darth Vader. He's gone to the dark side, my friends. Oh no, I mean your help. Okay, I got you, boy. You know how excited the Star Wars people are going to be that you're now a Star Wars fan? Yeah. They're going to be just... No, this one is going to be dark Vader. Okay, this has to go on. I'm going to put his helmet on. The problem is with those Star Wars guys, you call them Dark Vader. They're going to be triggered about that, though. So you got some points and you lost some dark points. Dark Vader. My fans are triggered. No, I'm Dark Vader. I'm Dark Right so there you have it guys, Clark Man is choosing Star Wars over Lego Creator, maybe changing my collecting style coming up here. We're going to keep playing here with this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little sneak peek. 
or not so much of a sneak peek, more of a full reveal of all the stuff that I worked on this weekend. Thank you to everyone that was in the live streams hanging out with me. And uh, if you guys are thinking about getting these sets, Clark Man gives the Star Wars set number 75183, Darth Vader's Transformation, a solid two thumbs up. So on that, thank you for watching, and as always... Next video.